Randy Orton has said in many interviews over the past few years that he does not plan on wrestling for very much longer, which could mean that Randy Orton could retire next year, because Randy Orton's WWE contract ends in late 2019. AJ Styles revealed a few months back that he might retire from wrestling once he turns 42 years old. AJ turns 42 in 2019, and it's also been revealed that in January 2019, AJ Styles' contract expires. Shinsuke Nakamura signed with WWE in 2016, but he only signed a three-year contract, and that contract ends on February 1st, 2019, and if he does not re-sign, he will likely return to New Japan Pro Wrestling. Back in April, after WrestleMania 34, Brock Lesnar re-signed with WWE. He signed a contract that would allow him to wrestle through SummerSlam, which means that Brock's contract ends on August 19th, 2018. Stephanie McMahon's on-screen talent contract expires in October 2019, which may mean that if it's not renewed, she will no longer appear on TV and take a strictly behind-the-scenes role with the company. There was a lot of confusion in early 2018 about Dolph Ziggler's contract. It was reported that Dolph Ziggler resigned for millions of dollars, but it was later revealed that Dolph Ziggler has yet to resign. And now it's rumored that Dolph Ziggler's contract will end in July or August of 2018. It's very well known that Daniel Bryan's contract ends in September 2018, but there are rumors that Daniel Bryan will likely resign with WWE. Mickie James, who is currently 38 years old, signed a three-year contract with WWE when she came back. Mickie's contract ends in December 2019. Triple H's wrestler contract expires in May 2019, which might mean that if his contract is not renewed, he will retire from wrestling any more matches and will take a permanent behind-the-scenes role, but he will still be an on-screen character if needed. Page's contract expires in April 2019. The contract was signed when she was a wrestler, but now that she has been forced to retire from the ring and become the SmackDown GM, it's in doubt whether WWE will resign her as a non-wrestler. 